Kayla and welcome to my channel and today I have a book haul for you. It's not massive but it's something and the first book that I have is Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, it's a continuation of the TV series, of the main TV series and I think it's on both American and UK TV uh, Netflix at the moment. Um, and I understand it's very popular at the moment, as it was years ago at, uh, when I was a kid. And I've got no intention of reading this, though this was a gift for my partner who has loved Avatar. And I do plan to get him the next volume for Christmas. Um, and he has enjoyed it. So, that's something. I also have The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. I did read... The first book, um, A Handmaid's Tale, a year or two ago or whatever it was, um, and I look forward to getting to this one. I got it for 2 50 out of WH Smith where I live because they're closing down and they have sales on some of the stuff. And it was supposed to be £4 something but for some reason they reduced it even further. So I got this super cheap which I'm happy about and I look forward to reading that in the next few weeks maybe. I also have The Secret Circle of Imaginary Friends by Mike Jevons and I will link his channel in the description because he makes his own videos on online and I've read one of his books already called A Viral which I enjoyed and um, I don't I can't remember if I reviewed that but I did like it um, and this is one of the children's books that he has which I look forward to because uh, Viral was a surprise it was better than I thought it would be, so I look forward to getting this in the hopes that it's just as good. Memory of Time by Bella Forrest, which is book 84 in the Shade of Vampire series. I can't really explain much about this simply because it's part of a much larger series and it would ruin everything before now. So I can't really describe this to you very much, but I look forward to it. I also have a review copy to read by the end of next month of Dogged by Kerry Fessler and this is a middle grade I believe about a young girl who is obsessed with dogs, she loves her dogs and I think she finds a rescue shelter, rescue shelter but I think it might be a puppy farm um, and she tries to rescue these dogs and gets into a whole lot of trouble and a whole lot of danger and just got to try and get out of it um so hopefully i like this also have the girl from paradise hill by susan lund which i've already read and i did enjoy it it was good i gave it i only gave it three stars i think on goodreads and not, that doesn't suggest that it's bad um at all i did enjoy it but there's bits and pieces where I think maybe it could have been slightly better. I think the pacing could have been a bit better. But I did enjoy the two perspectives throughout the book of the, the lady who was looking into the, some murders and the murderer perspectives. They were both very interesting and some interesting things happen in the book. Um, and I do plan to read the next book in the series. It is part of a thriller. But I think that's probably why the pacing is a little bit off, is because it's three books instead of maybe one or two. So I look forward to getting to the next book on this, and I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Comment down below if you've read any of these books, and thanks for watching.